DJ Spoon Breath. Yeah! <laughs> this show's a mess, actually. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm You know, I, I could wake up with this energy every morning. Uh, yeah. uh, okay, I, I'm sure I can do with this every day. Yes, you can. You are David Lally. Oh, my word. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, David. Good morning. It's just gone 10 minutes after 7 o'clock. It is the DJ Spool Breakfast right here on Massive Metro. We're hanging out with the phenomenal mm. fashion designer, David Lally, right here in studio. Covassier. That's your new <laughs> tick on the box. I, I, I made sure we had the song so we could see if you really jammed to it and you're loving it how's it being being the new brand ambassador for it's, for such an exclusive brand it's been really amazing to be let's correct it um i'm not an ambassador i'm an mean influencer Ooh. influencer yeah Influencers. um it's been really a beautiful journey uh also because the brand david Lally, i mean we've we, we've come a long way and 15 years into into the industry on a full-time basis um, we've seen the brand David Lally evolve with other brands and now being home with Covercia, it's been beautiful. It is beautiful uh, because it's made in France and we are on our new journey to introduce the David Lally brand in Paris this September. So it's just marriage made in heaven. When Absolutely. you started your business back in 2003, Dave, did you think at the time that you would get as big as you are now or have you exceeded all your own expectations? <laughs> <laughs> if you asked me when I decided to go study fashion, if I'd be talking to you today, I didn't know. Um, all I know is that I've seen the hand of God upon my life, mm. upon my journey, up, upon our brand, upon my team, and also just like really realizing how blessed we are as as a brand made in South Africa by South Africans and uh, that this year we are celebrating 15 years standing and growing in the game and uh, it's not been easy and it's been tough it's it's taxing it's it's consuming every ounce of energy out of you and uh, I gotta wake up and come to the massive metro yes and, uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> looking so good might I add and when so I get good. when I finish this I have to go back run the business as if nothing happened so um, it's been really really great and uh, did I know that we would have grown this much in 2003 when we started no when I graduated in 98 1998 I didn't know. I, I was just like, I'm just gonna make clothes. And uh, little did I know that God and the universe, and you know, knew better. They had a bigger plan for me, and also for the brand David Lally. And um, it's, it's 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 purely big ups to God. But 2011, David, you closed down the Mandela Bridge from Foslo from Galera to closing down a whole bridge, uh, the bridge, the the bridge. <laughs> You know, in all honesty, I thought we should just keep it simple <laughs> and just like showcase the Nelson Mandela Bridge. That's keep keeping it simple. It simple. <laughs> okay. I mean, like, besides, we, we just thought, let's celebrate, you know, the life of Nelson Mandela. Um, yes. He was turning 92 then. And uh, we decided let's do a commemoration in fashion, in style, in fabulosity. And uh, we had 92 models, uh, not mm. only just models, but we had soccer players, we had athletes, we had uh, actors, we had, uh, you know, uh, celebrities and my muses, Savita Mbuli and Tatum Kesha walking for me. I mean, we had the likes of Noni Gasa. Mm. It was really, really beautiful. And then we also had models as well. We had Sonia Butha. We had Lala Hirayama. It was it was massive. And the, why we took a lot of peop different people from different spaces of life is because all these people show and reflected um, what South Africa is all about at that particular moment. And we all came together to celebrate the life of Nelson Mandela. It was really, really beautiful. Let's talk a bit about the intern. Why did you want to do the show? So, um, we actually started the intern in 2012 when I conceptualized what the brand should be doing more than just designing. We've got to build a legacy of David Lally uh, yeah. beyond clothing, beyond fabulosity. 
And uh, then we started out in KZN where we started with two designers. We partnered there with uh, the Department of Economic Development in KZN for two years. And uh, we've had designers like um, Ayanda Mtembu and uh, Nogwanda Ngobo and Juke Mgati and Ruth Samai then. And then... Um, then later on, we moved to, to Gauteng. We partnered, you know, with uh, um, the FPNM CETA, which is our core uh, partner in helping us to make sure that we really have this internship growing. And also the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture in Gauteng. Why the intern? Mm. It's because over the years, we, we've been introduced to horrible quality of clothing. And designers go to fashion schools and not go for internship and not realizing the importance of internship and not understanding the business of fashion, which I was one of them as well. Um, after I've, you know, worn the L nude, no, no. When I launched my brand, mm. I did not intend for anyone else. Little did I know how tough it was to run a business. I mean, to become a brand, to build a brand, to make sure you register, to make sure that everything works, make sure that how do you deal with with customer care you deliver on time, make sure you give them beautiful products all the time. I didn't know all that. All that I had to learn, fall, disappoint a lot of people, bend bridges, bend relationships, (sighs) uh, and uh, not be able to even pay for my bills at some point. And uh, that has been the hardest of them all. But why the internship is to say, let's introduce the designers, young designers who are kind of like hungry for the industry. And they say like, oh, I want to be like David Lale or Mm. I want to be like La Duma. Uh, Little do they know what what it takes to build a brand. So we take these designers and show them the ropes. This is how you build a brand. This is customer care. This is how you build a cohesive collection. Quality is everything. So David, I'd, I'd like to believe the something you, you learned something from working on this show. What's that one thing that you learned about yourself from doing the intern? Because you have been part of it since 2012. <laughs> um, it's 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 been a beautiful learning curve because I I believe. I've learned to become patient. I'm, I'm a very impatient person. I've, bec- I've learned to become a nice person. <laughs> 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 wow, I had I, to learn. I, I believe you. I believe you <laughs> <laughs> um, I've, I've become to be- not even learn. I've yeah. become even more passionate about the industry and also seeing the talent and potential from the young people. It's it's really beautiful. And because, you know, with this with this show, we, we've went all out um, the country, well, half yeah. of it. We went to Durban, Cape Town, Bulukwane, uh, Gauteng, and it was beautiful to find talent, and that has never been tapped on, and nothing beats that, and that brings me pure joy to say we found, you know, people who are hungry and who are wanting to, 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 to bring the change. Um, and also, what I've learned and it, that really humbles me is that, you know, you find designers that have been to fashion schools. Yes, they've got understanding in everything. Mm. Then you find these self-taught people that have no money or anything, but then you just find them from the rural, you know, in the, from pure grass, talent. Root, pure talent, oh. sheer talent. And someone is just like, I, I didn't know, I, I never learned how to make patterns. I just take fabrics. I'm like, come, let's see this. And they come to the studio. The first challenge, they nail it. I'm like, Mm. Yeah. What's happening here? Mm. And uh, I'm like, I'm so surprised and really purely um, impressed about the talent we have in South Africa. And also uh, finding these talented young people around the country has evoked a lot of even strengthened patriotism to say, as South Mm. Africa, we have it going.